Hi everyone, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to Power BI tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create advanced analytics in Power BI using R and Python. So R is an open source software used for statistical programming supported by the R Foundation. It is a useful programming language widely used by the data miners, data, my, uh, data uh, analytics uh, professionals and data scientists. So in order to leverage R and Python features in Power BI, we have to ensure R programming language is installed in our laptop. So to ensure that you can go to file and go to this option called options and settings when you go here you can see these options and right here you will get to know these two features one is r scripting and python scripting so you have to see whether your r and python is installed in your system or not For my system there is no R installed as of now. I will show you how to install that as well in this session. So, so uh, if your R is installed in your system, you can uh, you know, locate to that directory or Power BI can locate or detect the R home directories. So since Power BI is not able to detect the R home directory, that means the R is not pre-installed in my system. So we have to follow these steps to install uh, the R. So it's Power BI uh, facilitating like how to install Python and how to install R. So I'll go with it and install the R software in my system. Then I will locate the R home directory from the Power BI so that we can say that the integration between R uh, you know, engine and Power BI is completed. Then we can leverage the features of R in the Power BI desktop here so let's begin with it how to install r so when i click that button i will be landed on the screen that uh, you know depicts and guiding me how to install r in my system these are the following steps i have to install r click on this link revolution open download page it will take me to the respective page i have to choose my respective uh, operating system in this uh, you know in my laptop so my system is windows 10 so i can definitely choose this download button and here we go now this is downloaded let me drive you through the installation of the r in my system I have to run as administrator. Next. So I will not do any changes over here. Simply uh, select. to bit installation 64 bit installation so i do have a you know 64 bit uh, user uh, i mean uh, my operating system so since my system is a 64 bit uh, system and the operating system software is 64 bit i can choose the 64 bit installation go next Okay, I'll have to choose here the accept default. So let me go ahead. Alright, so this is the name R uh, which will be uh, created in my start menu folder. Create a desktop shortcut. Create a quick launch shortcut. So all these options I've chosen and then uh, go next. It will take a while uh, to install. 
the installation is come to an end now finish to start off uh, so finish the setup all right now r is successfully installed in my system now it's time to go to the power bi and there i will just detect the path go to option and then setting see so when i choose in this uh, r scripting earlier it was other directory now by default it is detected and located to the r home directory because the r was installed in this folder only programming uh, program files and then r and then r this is the form directory. For the next process we will see how to leverage the R features in the form BI. So here uh, after integration I, I would like to say one more thing which is important is associating the power uh, the R IDE with power BI. If it is not associated we won't be able to uh, open the power BI. Uh, we will not be able to launch the R environment from the power BI. So I have to ensure that here in this option in the IDE part that is also locating to this R. So it's basically uh, to you know it was not default detecting I just selected other and then I explicitly chosen this folder where the R is there. choosing this after rid next we will see using an r script to import the data in the script uh, of r it should return one data frame that will uh, serve our purpose for making the visualizations so for that we have to go with this get data more Now, uh, instead of all these other database, I have to go with the other, then choose the R script, then connect. This is the normal process to connect to the R for creating the data frames. So here you have to uh, write the R script to import the data model of the R to Power BI. So it's not learning about R, it's learning about how in Power BI how we can use the R. So I will use a sample code uh, over here uh, which will you know create the data set in the Power BI itself. So you see uh, this uh, uh, the, the simple code which I have used uh, it is just collected the data from the R server IRIS underscore raw which is the table name I have given it here iris now it has a multiple uh, you know data over here like length width so I can just use this data to power bi very easily same way I can get a multiple data sources of the R and use it in the Power BI. I can also get one more data called empty cars. So in order to get the data over here.
There are lots of online data repository you would find in Wave where you can download or, or, or already published data sources of R to Power BI. So simply get that data set name and write your data inside this, pass the data set and you can see the lot of data available with us. Now you see data I've got over here in the Power BI is empty car, iris, raw and cars. There are three data sets I easily get into the Power BI for analysis. I can do the further transformations over here as we are doing in uh, Power BI by using the data transformations. Okay, all right. So with this data, I'm just going to create an amazing chart in Power BI by using the R script. So now it's time to create the R script for visualizations. By using the R script, we have already created the data set. So simply double click on this R visual over here. Now on this, I have to add the data which I have collected from here by the our data frames here okay so let me take uh, these two fields like this one this is the r visual we have collected and uh, one more field i'll take this as coil now we have to ensure that these two attributes should not be summarized so just click on this do not summarize and same thing to be applicable on this as well do not summarize these are the to attributes I have. So R has numerous different type of inbuilt functions to call different type of visualizations as well as well. So through R we can also create various type of beautiful visualizations by passing these attributes. So I'll just write one R script uh, to create a visualizations with this, with this data. Box plot data set then I have to write this syntax data set and then dollar m p g is a field and the second attribute I have to also pass like this now this is a simple script which you can see by using this script I can create a box plot chart over here in the Power BI. So select this and execute this script, which will call the R, uh, you know, Studio behind the scenes, and this R Studio environment. This will be executed, and the output will be generated in form of a chart in the Power BI in my Power BI editor over here. So here we go. Once I'm clicking it, you see the beautifully uh, a box plot chart is being created by using this. R script. This is a beautiful data which I have got in my data set. By uh, using this data, I could simply create a statistical data, statistical uh, visualizations over here in the Power BI, which is being generated in the R. This was all about uh, integration of R with Power BI in order to create advanced statistical analysis. I hope you would have liked this video. Please give a thumbs up. In order to get connected with me, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.